Hello everyone, today we will be looking at how current relates to both resistance and potential difference, and how we record the potential difference in currents across different components to then calculate resistances. A potential difference is also known as a voltage. A potential difference or voltage is needed across an electrical component to make a current flow. Cells or batteries often provide this potential difference. Ohm's law tells us how potential difference, current and resistance are related. Potential difference, or voltage, is measured in volts V and is shown by the symbol V. Current is measured in amperes and is described in equations by a capital I. This originally comes from the French phrase intensité de courant, meaning current intensity. Resistance is measured in ohms which are shown using this symbol and sensibly is represented by a capital R. These three things are linked together in an equation which states that the voltage is equal to the resistance multiplied by the current, or simply V equals I times R. This equation can be rearranged in a manner of ways and is best represented by the triangle. Pause the video and give it a go. Did you get 0.3 amps? We're trying to find the current, so we need to rearrange the V equals IR equation to see that current is the potential difference divided by the resistance. See? It's very easy substituting values into the V equals IR equation. So now, let's have a look at how to measure the potential difference across different components. Earlier, we said that a potential difference is needed to make a current flow, and that batteries or cells often provide this potential difference. Let's have a look at how we can measure the potential difference across the lamp in this circuit. We measure potential differences using a voltmeter. This voltmeter must be connected in parallel with the component we're measuring across. So here, it's in parallel with the lamp. Then, simply read what the voltmeter says, 1.5 volts. So the voltmeter goes in parallel and measures the potential difference. If we wanted to measure the current, see how we instead used an ammeter, and the ammeter is connected in series, so in a line with the component. What if we wanted to measure both the current and the potential difference? Simply set up a circuit with an ammeter in series and a voltmeter in parallel. Once we've measured the current and the potential difference, we can then use these values and substitute them into our V equals IR equation to find the resistance. So what's the resistance across this lamp? Pause the video and work it out. Did you get 1.5 ohms? Here are two more questions for you to give a go. Pause the video, work them out and click play when you're ready to check your answers. Did you get them right? 5.4 volts and 20 ohms? In summary, we have learned that the voltage is equal to the current multiplied by the resistance, and how to measure the potential difference and the current across components. Thanks for watching.